in this video, I am going to give a general look into Tursky's world, which is essentially speaking, it, is, it gives an idea using various logical statements where we could put figures, in this case, these different triangles, circles, we could color them differently. In some versions, we can change the size and do other various aspects involving these different shapes. And then we could show the truth or, or the falseness of any of these logical statements. So, for example, in this example of a Tarski's world I have over here on the right, I have the statement for every T, triangle T, um, if triangle T, then blue T. What that is basically saying is that for every shape, for every shape that is a triangle, or in this case, for um, if the shape is indeed a triangle, so if a shape is a triangle. is a triangle, then the shape is blue. And if we look at the picture that we have here, this triangle is blue, so that's good. This triangle is blue, and this triangle is blue. So, based upon this version of Tarski's world, that is indeed correct. And for example, if we make a statement such as, there exists a shape, I'm just going to call it X. There exists a shape X where we have a, um, the shape is blue. Spell correctly, that would be helpful. If the shape is blue, and not a triangle. So I'll just write that on the next line here. Blue and not a triangle. So, that one there being, this is the first one. The second one here reading, there exists a shape, there exists a shape that that is blue and not a triangle. Not a triangle. And if we look at this picture, we could see shape E right here. This one is a square, and it's blue, so it is true that's blue, and it's not a triangle, so that is also true involving this particular version of Tarski's world. But that's from a predefined one. Using that, using a version of Tarski's world, this one being a two-dimensional version, um where I have a window involving, well, with an example of a Tarski's world on it. This one, though, comes up once you start this Java input, 
implementation of Tarski's world along with these various formulas. And if we put this eval all on here, it will give us the validity of these different statements involving this Tarski's world here on the left. So like for example, on top here, we have triangle A and square C and pentagon E. And if you look at this version of Tarski's world on here, we could see that indeed A is a triangle, C is a square, and E is a pentagon. And as such, we have other various statements involving this version as well. We can even add or subtract things on here if we wanted to. And we can also save our different versions that we have. So, for example, I could add in another triangle. There we go. And give it some name, preferably one that's not already on the screen. Let's go with H. And just click it in there. Oh, wait a minute. Click on the uh, shape, the name of it, give it a size, and then hit create. And then we can move it wherever we, we feel like it. Let's put it here. And as such, that is an example of how to put something into here. And we could change the different size, the different shape type. Notice how it's all in my quick blue on here. Um, and then give it a, you know, a few other properties based upon that. But that though is the general idea then of this Tarski's World program on here. Thank you.